Welcome back to World of Warships with your host, X Brad TC. Today, we have a reader submission. Kit War takes his Hataharu out into a ranked battle on the Shattered map, and uh, it's good enough to get him up to rank 14, which I've had terrible luck in the ranked battles. I'm stuck at rank 18. First thing he does, zips up there and grabs a cap. Got to get some points on the board. And that's what destroyers do. Japanese destroyer captains and American destroyer captains take two very different approaches to how they fight. American captains tend to like enclosed waters. Uh, they have short torpedo range generally. Whereas the Japanese captains, their ships have very long range torpedoes. The range of their torpedoes exceeds the detection range for their ship. Right now, Kit War is stalking a Nagato. And we like to make fun of battleship captains and occasional cruiser captains for just sailing in straight lines forever. Here's the thing. Look how long it takes these torpedoes to get to the target. It, it takes forever. All the captain has to do when you're driving a battleship is just occasionally speed up or slow down, just occasionally turn left or turn right, and you're invulnerable to torpedo attack. And you'll notice these are, these are long-range torpedo attacks. You, you don't see American destroyer skippers doing this very much, particularly not at Tier 7. Uh, you'll see it a little bit more at the higher tiers. But in this case, he just stayed on one course, one speed, and took two torpedoes. Now that's bad enough. He has to know that there is a destroyer, a Japanese destroyer, out here on his starboard side, hiding out. And what happens? Well, Kit War is going to reattack. Well, in this instance, he's actually going to miss. But his intended target, the Nagato, is now terribly weakened. And he's a prime target for the rest of Kit War's team. So he's not going to last very long. When I posted the, the other day uh, a, a Wix where I went charging in and shooting battleships at point-blank range, that's not something you can do in a Japanese destroyer. They simply will get blown out of the water. Now we see Kit War is taking on a New Mexico. The New Mexico apparently was away from the keyboard for a little while and got kind of a late start in this match. Uh, but by the time Kit War shows up, the New Mexico is moving and trying to get to the fight. But once again, we're deep here, back in the enemy's territory. Uh, the New Mexico has no support, nobody escorting him or anything like that. Trying to get to the fight, he's just sailing in a straight line. Just same speed, same course, not doing any maneuvering, just trying to get into the fight. That's not going to work out well for him. Takes three torpedoes. Incredibly. Incredibly. He knows, once again, there's a Japanese destroyer on his starboard side. Has to be a Japanese destroyer because he was attacked with torpedoes and the target's not visible. Kit War launches another salvo of torpedoes. This guy, anybody want to guess what he does? Is he going to dodge? Is he going to maneuver? Is he going to speed up? Is he going to slow down? I mean, look how long this takes. And this is not, you know, this is, a, this is ranked battles. This is, you know, at least Tier 5, Tier 6. You should have had enough time to learn by now how to play the game. I mean, Kit War is playing a pretty good game, but this guy is playing a terrible game. Those torpedoes were launched at long range. Just the slightest bit of movement would have affected the aim. 
But no, this is just incredible that he can pull this off. And there we go. One New Mexico down. Only took one torpedo to sink him. Now, we're going to go into the last bit of the battle here. I don't know what happens to one of the enemy destroyers, but here's the enemy Hatsuharu. Uh, the same kind of destroyer that Kit War is driving. And they're going to be sparring for a little bit. But there's also a, a, an Otago over here. Now, Kit War, to this point, hasn't had his paint scratched yet. The Hatsuharu pops smoke, disappears. Kit War is maneuvering because he knows enemy torpedoes are in the water, just like his are in the water. And you, you see a good bit of this, particularly when it's Japanese destroyers uh, tangling with one another, where they're just spamming the waters with torpedoes. You never know, you might get lucky. I've, I've had more than once a lucky shot into a melee and picked off somebody. If nothing else, it gives them a little bit of pause to keep them from uh, sailing where they want to go. Japanese destroyers, as we have always said, great torpedoes, terrible guns. Hatsuharu, better guns than most Japanese destroyers, but still pretty terrible. Kit War is taking a look, trying to spot that, uh, that Otago, and he's looking for a shot at it. Can't get anything yet. He's going to put some shots down that uh, channel just in case. It's a very low percentage shot. Just now, he's starting to be detected. Taking a look around, who's detecting him? Pop Smoke, because he's trying to gain the capture point there. Because you need the points to win. He stops. Kind of a risky stop right there in the smoke. The smoke keeps you from being uh, spotted. But again, putting a, a load of torpedoes into the smoke is a common tactic. He's got the capture point. Time to move out. And we see the smoke is acting two ways here. He, he's not able to spot the enemy Otago or the enemy destroyer right now because he's in the middle of the screen. He's detected. There's the cruiser. Torps out. And since he's detected and at such range, guns out. There's the Hatsuharu. Shot out. And the high caliber award. Now, this is kind of a dangerous position. Short range, broadside onto a cruiser, rarely ends well for a destroyer. Look at that. One broadside did all that damage. Knocked out his engines. He, do he doesn't appear to have the last stand commander capability, which is unusual. Burns his repairability. Takes another big hit. Since he's detected, might as well use the guns. Enemy Hatsu sneaking in a couple of shots without being detected. Now this is where it gets interesting. The, the, the Otago is stopped to avoid the torpedoes. But he starts again to move. While Kit War launches his torpedoes. And gets blown out of the water. Like I said, rarely ends well going against the cruiser at that close range. But check this out. The enemy Otago moves forward and then stops. Yes, he just plain stops, and that spread of three torpedoes is going to go right into his side. What he, Why he was stopping, trying to avoid whatever, I don't know. But there he goes. He went down. Not a bad job, Kit Ward. Only two sinkings did a pretty good amount of damage and managed to get 5,300 XP, 7,600, 76 free XP, 3,400. Not a bad battle at all.
We'll catch you later.